So last night we brought the Road Warrior trailer to Sean's old condo. On the previous episode, you saw us up at the RV dealership trying to get home, stuck with brake issues. And while we were up there, we were dealing with an extra stress. The person that had bought my condo was threatening to break in and remove all of our stuff and kick us out, even though he had given us an extension to get out. This guy must have been absolutely bipolar. So we wanted to get home as quickly as we could and instead of staying at Walmart, we ended up parking our rig right outside the condo. We didn't know what to expect when we got home, but when we got home, we realized that he had been in the condo and had done some things. We still aren't sure exactly what he did because we don't think any of our stuff was missing, but he did get into the condo illegally and without our approval. So to say that we had some highs and lows over the last few days would be an understatement. We were totally stressed out and just couldn't wait to get all of our stuff, which was a lot of stuff, into our brand new home on wheels. So we're going to give you a tour of his place on our final moving day. Here we go. So this is what we still have left. So you see, um, it's a little bit of work to do. The kitchen is pretty much done. We have most things packed. Feeding the doggies at the moment. This is the second master bathroom. And this is where we have been putting in all the things that are gonna go inside the trailer. There's a few things in the closet. Okay. So there's Bruiser. Hi, Bruiser. And this is where the dining table, and this is basically a dining room, obviously. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Boom, boom, boom. Oops. I just run into a bulldog over here. Good morning, bulldog. Mm, this is the living room. Some people will hopefully come and pick up all the major furniture items later on today. Okay, so all the paddleboard gear and also a few other things that we have for sale or that we'll give to the nation if we're unable to get rid of them. So, and this is our room. We have been sleeping on an air mattress uh, for the last week. Hey, bye, bye. <laughs> and this is squad the project stuff, the closet. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so stay tuned. This baby right into place. First time, no tr no trouble. Auto level. Gotta love that. I love that. Pretty sweet. She is beautiful. Ready for moving day. Let's load them up. The trailer here. 
we're trying to load stuff in it and we realize that we probably have 10 times more stuff than storage. It's just not going to fit. So narrowing down shoes, okay, I've narrowed it down to these, got rid of these, but I've already gotten rid of like a ton of pairs, but we still got a long way to go. I'm getting rid of all these suits and jeans and I still have a long way to go because I've got all of this. And this is after months of purging. So we're in a major predicament here because we have so much stuff and no room. This is crazy. I mean, oh, it's, it's so hard to just, it's not hard to let go of things, but it's hard to let go because you know that you paid so much for something and you're not gonna get anything back. It's a good feeling knowing that somebody else that needs it more can use it, but it's still a lot. So we're more than halfway through the last day in our home. Piles of stuff and um, you just gotta let go of things sometimes and they're hard to let go because you work so hard for them. And these were some of the most prized awards. I've thrown away over a hundred trophies so far, but um, gotta let these bad boys go and it's tough. And I got more and more and more and uh, I'm just surrounded in stuff that uh, gotta let go. And there's no other way because there's nowhere to put it. There's no reason to keep it. And uh, I'm not gonna pay for storage. So, you know, brand new clothing, brand new shoes, brand new everything. And uh, just gotta let it go. It's that time. So, if you're planning on living full time in an RV, is it easy? No, it's not easy to get there far from it, but I don't have a doubt in my mind that it'll be worth it because nothing that's easy is usually worth it and things that are very difficult are usually always worth it. The dogs are pooped, we're pooped, and we're going to be up all night doing this, so wish us luck and we'll catch you guys soon. Hopefully the next time you see a video, this will be empty. We got food. Break time. Yeah, buddy. We gotta, we're not even halfway done, but it's more than half the day done. <laughs> so, let's oh, get it. It's a uh, 8.30 car, truck full of stuff, heading to my mom's for the third trip of the day. Cotto's following me in the Vespa. And um, we gotta be out tonight. So, the uh, trailer is busting at the seams. There's no room left in it. It's a total disaster and mess. We have way too much stuff. So, a little stressed out. We got a lot of work to do over the next few days. It just seems like it never ends. <sighs> Can't believe it's uh, actually done. Everything is pretty much cleared out. Empty. Empty. Pretty empty. We're just trashing, donating, pretty much everything. We've gotten uh, most of our stuff out. That's it, baby. It's almost done. Yeah, buddy. All done. Now we only have a home on wheels. Yes, sir. Ow! Hey. We're ready for Walmart, but we're not sure if they're ready for us. <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. This is what happens when you're exhausted from a 16-hour day of moving. You slam your finger in the bed of the truck and nearly lose it. I don't recommend this, but this is some of the sacrifices you gotta make to live the road warrior life. Whew. I need my nurse. Oh, 
Oh, Thanks for joining us, guys, on another episode of Road Warrior. And next time, you're going to see us living the Walmart life. Yes, it actually does happen. It does exist. And we extended our stay for four full days at Walmart. So join us on the next episode. And as always, if you like it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends.